Hi, now you might notice that the video and audio looks a bit different today. It's because I'm using my old blogging camera, my Sanyo uh, Xacti HD 1010. And here's my regular blogging camera, the Canon HF G10 on my Manfrotto tripod. It's a very nice bit of kit. And why am I not using it? It's a good question. It's because I'm going to turn this into a very usable, very nice little soldering microscope. Uh, one that not only gives you a live view update on the screen, but of course allows you to record it as well. Should be neat. Let's give it a go. It's real easy too. Now, as you've seen in a previous video, I've got one of these very nice, uh, very old uh, Olympus SZ series stereo microscopes, and it's fantastic for SMD work. I've got one of these uh, LED lights on it. It's really quite nice. It uh, goes from uh, 0.7 times up to uh, four times on here, but it's uh, got uh, times 10 eyepieces, which gives a range from uh, seven times to 40 times. And so that's perfect for SMD soldering work. And I've also got a couple of um, objective uh, lenses for it as well. One uh, wide angle and one closer up so I can double the range. I can either, if I get a wide angle uh, objective lens on the bottom here, I can double my working distance. If I get a uh, times two um, objective lens on it, then I lower my working distance, but I double my magnification. And uh, you, if you've seen that previous video, you'll know I've tried to make a little adapter which goes on here that I can put my old blogging camera I'm using onto here. I've been trying to use, make it with my MakerBot. Uh, I've been having a few issues with that. It's a real annoying, and then you can't look through the microscope anyway because it's got not the uh, tri-type with the separate video port. So, you know, I want to sometimes uh, video and record my soldering and things like that. So it's really quite annoying trying to get my camera in at various angles and stuff like that and the light's not right. So I thought, what if I could somehow replace this with my regular camera? It's got a times 10 zoom on it. I wonder if it's possible. And I know there are people who are curious about the SZ, Olympus SZ microscope, so I'll just show you up close here. Excuse the uh, handhold. So there's the uh, 0.7 times through to 4 times. I've got uh, 2 times 10 uh, wide field uh, eyepieces. And uh, I've got an objective uh, lens on the bottom here that's actually a uh, half times objective lens, so that doubles the working distance um, of, it, well, it improves the working distance of the microscope. And that's important, because when you're getting your soldering iron under here, you don't want to have to come in at a real shallow angle like here. That's, that's really bad news. And if you've seen some of my previous soldering tutorial videos, that's what I've had to do. It was very difficult. And I wasn't actually using this. I was using another magnifying glass in front of the camera, and I had to come right in at a shallow angle like that. And that's really annoying. So you want a big, working distance in there. So, uh, and also here's the um, uh, LED LED ring as well. It's uh, got, it's just, you know, it's a cheapie on eBay, but it works very well. It's got a uh, brightness adjustment on the side here and simple on off and it is a LED ring. So there's LEDs all the way around the bottom of that. And I'll take that off and give you a squiz at that. So there it is. And it's, uh, it works really well and lights up um, your, your board, the object uh, you're working on or soldering, really well. And, and that's an absolutely essential bit of kit for SMD soldering. So I got to start thinking about sort of, you know, custom mounts that use the existing base plate from my tripod and stuff like that. Or maybe even making a separate stand and things like that. But it was getting a bit uh, convoluted. So I decided to take a look at my standard Manfrotto uh, Mono, I think it is, uh, model uh, tripod. And it's a very uh, basic one, quite cheap, but it works really well. And it does allow you to tilt the camera like that directly down. So, aha, look at that. It's already pointed down and there's a decent amount of working room there as well. And by the way, that's a uh, typical uh, two times objective uh, lens for my Olympus stereo microscope. So I just take off my 0.5 times uh, wide field one there and I can replace that with the two times. Anyway, um, I can just take the hood 
off my uh, Canon HF uh, G10 camera here, and I've got one of these nice little um, Opteca high definition times 10 macro lenses, which fits directly into the 58 millimeter thread on my Canon camera. It just screws in here, and you saw that in my previous uh, teardown video. I was using this um, handheld, and it works really well for up close stuff. It's fantastic, and as it turns out, it's got a very usable working distance. Now the only really major issue I have with this uh, lens is that um, it's got the big thick black surround around there and when you put it on that actually blocks my um, high speed uh, focus uh, window there but it does still work because it uses the uh, focus via the image itself it's just not as fast. I've also got one of these uh, real El Cheapo eBay uh, close-up times 10 lenses so it's the same thing times 10 but uh, it gives a bigger uh, viewable area it allows me to use the instant autofocus but it's not as good a quality as the Opteca uh, one so I'm going to use the Opteca one here so what happens if I actually do that I put my camera on here and it's of course um, quite high up I can move this uh, distances but look at that working distance th there it turns out that that is actually um, too far I've got to get in much closer so there's a trick you can do with this particular tripod and uh, if you're a photography nut or something you're probably already familiar with it. If you knock out the little uh, rubber grommet at the end like this, this tripod just it slides out like that and you can reinsert it under the bottom like that. I release the catch and bingo you can turn it upside down like that. So we've now got it upside down and it's a closer range like this. Now, um, the other good thing about this Manfrotto uh, Moto is that I can actually um, <coughs> adjust this and the legs can actually go all the way out flat and you can do other weird things. So you can get it lower that way, the right side up. But I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to put it upside down like this. And all I've got to do then is take off my, well, I just rotate around my tripod attachment and bingo I'm set I can now insert this thing upside down and I can get much closer and adjust my range like that it go only goes up to that height but as it turns out that happens to be the past the maximum usable distance anyway so I can go all the way down to you know just a couple of centimeters an inch off the ground there, perfect. But of course, this sort of rig isn't going to be any good unless I've got a decent light. And it just so happens that this uh, YK S48T um, LED ring adapter, if I wind out all the little thumb screws there, it just fits over my Opteca lens on there. Brilliant. So I don't, I just tighten those up. It fits with a couple of millimeters to spare. Bingo! Look at that! I got myself a beautiful little um, microscope adapter. Close up, holds it perfectly vertical. Brilliant! So now I've got my camera on its stand, perfectly vertical. I've got my LED LED ring. I can adjust the light like this. And uh, I haven't uh, spent much at all because I already had this existing kit. Okay, this is a very expensive camera, but the tripod is cheap. It's only like uh, even, uh, you know, $90 here in Australia or something. The LED LED ring is about uh, $30. And, uh, it's, and the uh, lens, that was a reasonably good lens. It's about... Uh, 20 odd dollars or something the cheaper ones are uh, you know under 10 bucks they practically give them away but this I can light it up and let's flip out the uh, screen here and let's give this thing a go and see if we can get it working now I'm trying to focus in on a little uh, five pin SOC 23 package down on that board there which I wanted to uh, solder and as you can see it's um, really uh, it it's doesn't focus at all. If I zoom right out, I can get some focus. That uh, red um, thing you see in there is my uh, peaking. It shows me where I'm actually in focus, so it highlights all the edges in focus. So I know those rings on the board are in focus because they've turned red. And when I go out, um, it's just completely out of focus. But we can fix that by simply adjusting the uh, height on here because 
once you put these objective lenses on here, they will have a, a fairly narrow working range based on the zoom. So, um, you know, if I adjust the zoom there, it's, you know, it's not bad for that sort of thing, but if I want to zoom in and use this as an actual microscope, I'm going to have to adjust it. So I'm going to put that to full times 10 magnification, okay, on my camera, of course, and uh, that's, that's my internal one. And if I adjust the, the height of it here, let's go down, bingo, there we go. Bingo, we got it. So look at that, that is spot on, that is maximum zoom, that's times 10 uh, optical zoom on my uh, Canon HF G10 plus with the uh, times 10 uh, objective lens um, on there as well, but it's not going to be times 100 of course, but look at that, that is very nice, that's a 5 pin SOT23 and the good news there is the working distance is quite reasonable. I can get my soldering iron in there at better than 45 degree angle. The LED uh, light gets in the way a little bit, but geez, that's pretty good and much better than what I've had before. Now, you'll notice that my uh, screen text hasn't flipped, so my image is actually upside down. I can actually fix that in the software, but as it turns out, I don't have to, because, check it out, it just so happens to be the correct, there's my, look, I move it up and it goes up, I don't have to invert anything, I move it right, it goes right, so that you don't have to flip anything, that screen is the perfect orientation, brilliant. Now the only unfortunate thing about uh, this Opteca lens right at the extreme zoom on my Canon camera is it's only focused in the middle, outside is, has got uh, distortion there around the edges, um, but that's not a big deal. I can certainly see the object I'm working on perfectly. Alright, and now I'm actually recording on my Canon HF G10 under the microscope here, and uh, people will, uh, I would, people would get quite upset if I didn't actually do some soldering under this sucker. So, I've got my pin here, I'm gonna wanna, I've got, I've got my real fat tip on my iron there, my fat chisel, but uh, I can certainly tack that down. There we go. That's tacked down. Ah, oh, near enough, and it will allow me to get. Should allow me to get into there and solder the other pins. Let's give it a go. Beautiful. I was uh, quite a shallow angle there, so I got the other pad, but uh, not a big deal. Excellent. Well, I've got to admit, it's not quite as good as my nice uh, stereo Olympus microscope or a nice proper uh, Mantis uh, scope stereo microscope or something like that, ones that are specifically designed for the job, but geez, the working distance um, is, is quite uh, usable. That's the bulky part there. I need to flip that to the other side there, but that is definitely a very usable working distance and you get a live update on the screen and because this camera has a HDMI output as well, I could hook that on to a large monitor and get uh, a live output on that. That'd be fantastic. And in case you're wondering, can I do this without the objective lens uh, on there. Can I just use the times 10 zoom in the camera? And the answer is unfortunately no, because uh, this camera, like uh, most uh, video cameras like this, have a uh, usable, uh, well, if you zoom right in, the uh, focus distance needs to be like half a meter or something like that. So it's got to be a long way away. So it basically doesn't work. You've got to have that extra objective, you've got to add that objective lens on there so you can get closer at uh, larger zoom levels and get that macro capability. Now there's my Senyo Exacti HD 1010 uh, camera I've been using to uh, shoot this, that's my old blogging camera, and well, is it possible to use that one and mount it on the tripod as well? Well, as it turns out, yes it is, it's real easy. So what I'm gonna do, but once again, you need that objective lens, I'm gonna take the times two objective lens uh, from my Olympus uh, microscope. Once again, you can buy these fairly cheaply on eBay, and I'm going to stick that 
on the front of there. It uh, doesn't screw in, of course, but uh, nothing I can't fix with a bit of electrical tape. And here it is, check it out, isn't it brilliant? I've uh, got, I've taped on my times 2 uh, objective lens onto there and uh, the uh, macro lens, which is what is the key to this capability. And I've screwed on with the uh, thumb screw clamps, I've screwed on my LED ring onto there. Doesn't it look great? Looks like a death ray. And I can switch this sucker on. Shh, look at this. I can record anything and I've got my LED light. Brilliant, I love it. Let's give it a try to see if it actually um, has a usable distance. Now, because this one is actually the gun style uh, camcorder, it does sit out much longer way from the tripod, but it sits on there very nicely. I like it uh, and uh, we get, that's the maximum uh, working distance based on my uh, tripod there. But, uh, and you can see we haven't uh, zoomed in, but let's zoom in and then there we go, so I'm zooming in. Let, let's, let's go up to maximum like we did with the uh, Canon. So that's times 10 optical zoom on there. So I need to adjust the uh, distance on this to get our absolute focus. And there it is, it's a little bit uh, lower working distance than the Canon, but check that out. It's That's with the times two objective lens and that works a treat. There's uh, also some uh, distortion around the uh, edges, you know, what I guess you'd call that barrel distortion or something like that around the edges of the lens there at full zoom, but that's with a times two objective lens. That works a treat. And I can still get, you know, there's still a, a good 45 degree angle in there where I can get my soldering iron in. And now I'm recording on my Sanyo Exacti that's on the tripod there. I t I'm touching it it's uh, wobbling around because I'm touching it, so I'm operating the zoom. But, uh, you can see the distortion around there like that. It's not quite as good, but uh, you can definitely use this thing as a soldering microscope. And it's the exact same deal with the rotation of the screen on this one as well. If I move my soldering iron up, it goes up. If I move it right, it goes right. So there you go. There's a very simple do-it-yourself homemade soldering microscope using your existing camera and objective lens, a uh, LED ring, lighting's essential, trust me, you really need some decent uh, LED lighting on there, and one of these invertible uh, tripods, in this case the uh, Manfrotto Moto. And that works an absolute treat. I can now record my um, soldering uh, stuff for the blog. Absolutely brilliant. So if you've got an old uh, video camera, it should pretty much work with any um, old video camera with a decent optical zoom. It's worth a try. Not a direct replacement for a, uh, you know, a good high-end stereo microscope, but not too bad at all. Give it a go. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to discuss this, go on over to the EEV blog forum. Catch you next time.